I can see it in your eyes, you think someone's on my mind. Music provides a really safe, powerful space for young people. I think young people find their voice through music here. Hello, hello, hello. My name's Akil Charlton. I'm the program director at Notes for Notes Chicago. If you hold the microphone like this, you'll create a Notice. Notes for Notes is a full-scale music production studio for youth. We have stage and backline. We teach music production, songwriting, and recording, as well as giving instrument lessons and teaching musicianship. We serve mostly youth from the near west side of Chicago and the west side. We're a year-round program after school. We serve roughly about 200 youth a year. Ages range from as young as seven years old to up to 18. It's entirely free for youth to participate. had a good opportunity to be in Notes for Notes and recording and producing our own songs. If you know how to sing, you can sing. If you know how to rap, you can rap. And it gives us a chance to like show our talent. At first I was like recording music on my iPad and stuff, but then when I came to Notes for Notes, I was able to like record in like an actual studio with like the high tech equipment and stuff. And then, then I hear the track and it's like, wow, this is amazing that I could do this. This is a chance of a lifetime and I'm glad that I can be here to watch my daughter and other children to experience this. I'm sorry for crying, <laughs> but it's a beautiful opportunity. For the young people who are producing work and getting to perform it, it provides a sense of confidence and accomplishment. This young inspiration that comes in through the door, I want to really like protect it and help shape it and provide it direction so that as the young people grow and you know realize their careers as adults, the arts will always be something that's a part of it. Thank you, Notes for Notes and I'll be here in the fall. Please welcome Chicago's Notes for Notes program director, Akil Charlton. Hey, Akil. I can't tell you how great this program is and what you're doing for kids. We're seeing so much cutting in funding in the arts and in music. Uh, this is game changer for, for students. We provide free access to music instruments, to recording studio, to instruction, volunteers, other musicians. Yeah, how are you funded? How are you able to do that? Uh, well, we're funded through the CMA Foundation is one of our uh, program partners and we get equipment donations, but we also get individual donations. So you're welcome to donate on notesfornotes.org um, if you'd like to support uh, free music programs for youth. Right, and how do the instruments come into play? And you have all kinds of different instruments, right? Oh yeah, we have some plenty of guitars, we have uh, bass, keyboard, but then we also have like workstations. So uh, Native Instruments is one of our equipment sponsors. We have Machine, we have different workstations like um, Ableton and Pro Tools, um, PreSonus uh, offers us uh, bo mixing boards, so we have lots of uh, digital and, and you know, some high tech stuff. Yeah, tell me about the students that come into the program and what they really get out of this. I mean, it's more than just learning an instrument, right? Right, it's really getting to produce your own music, it's feeling the accomplishment of seeing other people see you perform live, it's opportunities like this, getting to perform on television, um, but also the com camaraderie that comes along with just like working something out creatively with each other. Right, and you're relatively new, you just opened what, in January? Just opened up in January. Yeah, so where could this thing go, maybe? Oh, I think that we could perform many more stages than this. Um, <laughs> I think that we could also see some recording artists come out of our studio, um, hopefully some music business professionals as well. Actually, uh, Devon, who was performing on the end, he wants to go into law, so I could see some you know, entertainment lawyers coming out of this. Right, the night that uh, I interviewed Brett Eldridge at Joe's on Weed Street, we saw a performance, and I said, we gotta get them on the show. And guess what? They're on the They're show. On the show right? Yeah, that's right. For more on Heard Notes for Notes, head to our website, www.wendy3live.com. If you know anyone who should be our next four-star Chicagoan, send us an email at wcl at wendycitylive.com.